As we grow older, our brains get worn out. Obvious, you can see it, right? Haven't you noticed in yourself? As you get older, your capacity to think clearly, to be aware, to attend, if the sharpness has gone. So one of the problems, if we go into it, is, is it possible to keep the brain young? You understand? Not get old, worn out. Have you got? Have, are you following all this? Ask yourself: Is it possible for a brain not to get damaged first through drink, alcohol, you know, smoking, you know, all that's going on with with your lives? Not to have friction, because that wears out. Not to have to resolve a, a psychological problem immediately. Not let it go over to the next day. You following all this? So, so that it this constant movement of a, a psychological problem or even mathematical or any other problem, this constant usage, you understand? Where's the mind out, the brain out? We won't go into the question of what the brain is, because it's very interesting. I'm not a specialist or I'm not a brain specialist. I've talked to inquired into a great deal in, my, in myself and also talked to others who are specialists. So we are asking, can the brain, from the moment it's born till it dies, be totally fresh, young, undamaged, unhurt? And it is possible only when every issue is resolved instantly. You understand this? You understand what I'm every issue. You have sexual problems, you have anxiety, you are guilt, you are uh, inhibitions, you are this or that. End it. Every you understand. Not go to a specialist to make you to end it. They don't end it because they themselves are blind. Right? It's like the confused person helping others to be unconfused. It's a lovely game you're all playing. So we are seeing something which is. Death and living are very close. They are not fifty years ahead, but together. You understand? Live, live with death. That is the ending of everything that you hold psychologically dear. Or every problem that you have psychologically, then you will see your brain and your mind. No, no, sorry. Your mind has a totally different quality. There is a totally different dimension. Which is 
the dimension of truth. It's not your personal, but it is absolute truth.